It's alive! Speak, my child! Anime is an accurate representation of East Asian women. <laughs> oh, F. I forgot to give you a brain. <laughs> uh, the sad thing is, there's actually people out there that think that. Oh. What's going on, Marachodes? It's your boy, Long Neil, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash just neckbeard things. Let's get into it. A woman walks into the husband's store and speaks to the salesman. He says this store has four floors. Each floor has progressively better men on it. You can go up to whatever floor you want, but can never go back down. The woman walks through the first floor full of six foot plus men. I can do better, she thinks to herself. She goes to the second floor, full of men who are six foot plus with high paying jobs. I can do better, she thinks to herself. She proceeds to the third floor, full of men who are six foot plus, have high paying jobs and massive dongs. I can do better, she thinks to herself. She arrives on the fourth floor. There's nothing there but the salesman. Where are all the men? Asks the woman. The salesman turns to her shaking his head and says, there are no men here. This floor exists only to prove women can never be satisfied. He then shows her to the exit. The fact that this isn't funny aside, why the F you posted on this? Why did I post the truth? To expose the vile and virus-like object we claim are women. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, explain a woman with a joke that doesn't actually use a real woman. Like this has never been done. And like, what? Even if it was. So the chick thought she could do better than a guy that's tall, has money and a big dong. Like, what about a personality? Maybe that's what she was hoping for on the fourth floor. But no, you don't even take that into consideration. And your neckbeard mind, the only thing that makes chicks like dude, dudes is their height and their jobs. And of course, the size of their peen. Like, <laughs> chicks aren't that shallow, my guy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm approaching my late 20s, and I, at this point, I no longer care for sex. It's too much effort to try and find someone who loves me. It doesn't even matter, though, because porn is so sexy, and also, I have my anime waifus. Haha, <laughs> silly normal people wouldn't understand. You're a man of culture, I see. Honestly, that's just sad. Shut up, whore. <laughs> Oh, uh, really? This is just sad. Like, obviously, you know, this dude just couldn't get laid. So now he just says, oh, I never even wanted to get laid in the first place. Poor <laughs> bunny good for me. Like, <laughs> uh, he's delusional. He's just lying to himself. He would love to get laid. On my 10th birthday, my grandma gave me a Bible. On my 20th birthday, I gave it back to her in two pieces. Took me 10 years to cut it in half with this POS sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, like what? It took you 10 years to cut through a Bible with a sword. I can do better with my freaking fingernail. <laughs> Be a real woman. When a man cheats, a real woman would go on her knees, kiss his feet, and apologize for not being perfect. <laughs> what? No real woman would do that. Like a real woman would leave and tell him go F himself. No chick ever is going to get on her knees and kiss your feet because you decided to cheat on her for whatever reason. I don't care what the reason is. It's never okay to cheat on someone, ever. As you know, madness is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. The Joker. <laughs> oh, this is so lame. Like this belongs in, I'm 14 and this is deep. Are you kidding me? Like, what does this get across? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Is it common for girls to masturbate by pillow humping slash grinding? It is indeed. I had a girlfriend who used, instead, my ass for this practice to make it more of a shared experience. I would, of course, not have ejected had the place I lay my head been so used. But it was, well, seldom. Why women dislike the aroma of themselves is, of course, obvious. But it is not a dislike I share. For them, it is a simply smell. For me, a bouquet. Interestingly, this rather lovely girl preferred I should not wash away my own day from the places it naturally collects. 
prior to joining her and relaxation together at its end. <laughs> uh, according to this guy, commas equals intelligence because, oh my God, that was awful to read. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be surprised if my viewer retention drops off heavily because of that post. So for all of the, you, uh, for all of you who stuck through, through that awful reading and me stuttering, thank you. I'm the prank master. You can never get me back. The only prank that would get me back is if you pooped and didn't wipe and sent me a pic of your booty. <laughs> oh no, I shouldn't have told you. Now you know how to prank me. Please, please don't prank me back. I must remain the king. <laughs> oh, this is so lame. This is something I would expect out of a 10 year old, not in 18 to 25 year old based on this picture. <laughs> like what? This is so lame, dude not safe for work to the unbelievably sexy girl at walmart today walmart and falcon around lunchtime you had on a green tank top you didn't have a bra on and i could see your gorgeous pierced nipples softly poking out from the front of your shirt you walked by and i had an amazing view of your side boob you were stunning <laughs> <laughs> oh, is the only thing this guy noticed about his dream girl here, her boobs and that she had her nipples pierced. <laughs> like, could he even tell me what her face looked like, the color of her hair, how tall she was, what she was wearing? <laughs> like, oh, this is hilarious. He basically just saw a floating pair of tatas. <laughs> how cute is your sister? Send me a picture of her. I won't hurt her. I promise. What does she look like? Yes, relative to other girls, pretty factor. I don't know, but it matters a lot to guys instinctually. Give me the details. What are you on about? I want to know how pretty your little sister is that just started to bleed so I can decide if she is worthy of my seed. And I'll assume she is untouched if this young. <laughs> what? Okay, so that escalated real quick. At the start, I was just assuming this chick's sister was older or the same age as this dude, but then he says, I'll assume if she's untouched and she's just started bleeding, so he totally wants her. Like, what? This is just straight up pedophilia. <laughs> like, this is gross. I hope this chick reported him and he gets some sort of action taken against him because he literally just admitted to being a pedo. Jeez. You are truly gorgeous, Angel. So, you ever gonna let me get to know you, little mama? What a racist biatch, <laughs> lol, sad. No wonder you shave your head from such emotional pain, <laughs> lol. Racist thoughts these days, it is pitiful. Why you racist as F though, for real, for real. Yo head look like the head of a white dildo. <laughs> oh, this dude sounds like he likes to get pegged by white dildos. Maybe that's why he knows what the head of a white dildo looks like. Oh, what a beta male. We know your girlfriends don't exist, and therefore, they can't be Asian. If those neckbeers could read, they'd be very upset. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing they can't. Otherwise, uh, those messages you'd be receiving would be so lame. <laughs> <coughs> All right, Matachotes, that's it for the hot post from r slash just neckbeard things. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And oh, by the way, for all you neckbeards that watch this, grow up, dude. Not every chick likes you, and you're not entitled to any chick that you like. I just wanted to make that clear. All right, guys. Peace.